You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, a few weeks ago we had a gallery show and we had to cut a bunch of these mats for some photos and we used a tool that we use actually quite a lot here and I thought I'd share with you. It's called the Logan Simplex Plus 750 Mat Cutter and if you need to cut mats for your photos and you do it quite frequently, you'll find that you save quite a bit of money by cutting your own. The mat cutter is $240 and it provides the quality and ease of use of a professional mat cutter except for it's a fraction of the cost. It's got all kinds of features. It's got dual guide rail stops so you can do a sort of cookie cutter production where you're just cranking out mats. It's got a 27 inch squaring arm so you can really make sure everything is square and downsize your larger materials for cutting into mats like this one and then it's got uh, the ability to do borders of up to five and a half inches. Now the mat cutter is so large that we couldn't actually get it in here. You need quite a large table to put that on and so what we did is we went into our cutting area of our studio and we decided to shoot the video there. So let's take a closer look at this mat cutter. All right, let's take a closer look at the Simplex Plus 750 from Logan. This is a mat that I cut earlier for a 13 by 19 inch uh, photo. And it takes about, I don't know, two minutes maybe to cut one of these into shape. It's really, really nice. So let me go over the features of this mat cutter and show you how to cut something like that really quickly. Now this comes with a few things. There's this squaring guide, the squaring arm right here, uh, and it's a 27 inch squaring arm. And what that allows you to do is to take big pieces of mat like this and cut it down to size and make sure that everything is square and true. And uh, to do that, you also have this straight cutter. And so this has a really sharp razor blade in here. And this allows you to make sure you score that and it's exactly square. Now these blades, you can replace these and they're really inexpensive. So we actually buy them in packs of 100 um, because you want to keep your blades really nice and sharp. So uh, that's how this works. And so you can put in large pieces of uh, material, cut that, make sure it's scored and all lined up. Now inside here, we have this mat guide. And what that allows you to do is when you're making cuts to a mat, you'll actually take this and you do this upside down. Um, but you can set your boundaries so this can go up to five and a half inches. So whatever the border is that you want to cut, you can make sure you uh, set that up. And then as you're making your incisions, as you're rotating your material around, you know that it's going to line up exactly right. The other thing that this mat cutter does that's really nice is if you have to do, let's say, 50 or 100 or 200 mats, and you really have to crank those out really, really quickly, you have these guys right here. Now these are uh, called uh, guide rail stops. And what they do is they uh, just slide right in here. And what you can do is you can set up some templates basically um, for the different uh, cuts that you need to make on your mats. And so let's say we have a, a cut that has to be made on the short side of all of these mats. And normally we'd have a backing underneath here just to be clear. But you can set up uh, a start point and a stop point of exactly where you're going to cut. So I might line this up here, set my stop there. And I could measure this over here. There's actually a, a measurement tool here. So I'd set this up so it starts and stops. And then I have all my starts and stops pre-measured. And so I could throw in a mat, cut that, flip the mat, cut another one, put that aside, put another one in, cut that. And so you can just cut uh, literally dozens of mats very, very quickly. Then you'd reset those for your long cuts. And then just like a... Uh, an assembly line, you're just cranking out mats. And we've done that here when we have uh, large gallery shows where we need, you know, 50 or 100 mats cut um, really, really rapidly. And it just takes a, a short amount of time to do all of that. So you have your uh, guide stops. You also have a guide stop on this guy right here. And so what this allows you to do is uh, measure out how exactly you're going to uh, do your, your outside edges. So this goes all the way up to 27 inches. And so you can set that on the scale here and then lock it into place. And then when you slide your material in, it'll stop exactly where you need it to do. And then you can make that cut. So again, the outside edges, you can really rapidly cut those. The inside edges with the bevel cut, you can cut those and your edges are gonna be perfect every single time. And because there's a uh, measurement tool here, if you want your border to be anywhere up to five and a half inches, you can just look at this uh, measuring here, this tape measure, and put it exactly where you want lock this into place and this is going to be absolutely square and so you get mats that look great and only take a few minutes to produce. 
Well, that's the Logan Simplex Plus 750 mat cutter. Now remember, it comes with the uh, stops, the straight cutting head, the bevel cutting head. And one thing we didn't mention, it actually comes with an instructional DVD. So if you're new to mat cutting and want to do some basic mats or even more advanced mats with different shapes, well, the instructional DVD that comes with the cutter will show you how to do all of that kind of stuff. Now, there's some pros and cons to this. The pros, it's got a phenomenal price. It's only $240. So if you've priced out getting your mats cut at a professional store, you'll see that you can save a lot of money by spending the $240 for your own mat cutter. It's super easy to use. It's perfect every single time. And so you'll save a lot of money in the long run. Now the downside, well really I couldn't think of any cons for this product. It's just a phenomenal solid product. The only thing that is a gotcha is you need a large work area. So if you buy this mat cutter, you need something that will allow you to have a lot of space because it is a pretty large mat cutter. Well there you have it. Once again, it's the Logan Simplex Plus 750 mat cutter and I highly recommend it. Well, thanks for so much for joining me this week. Remember, if you have a product that you'd like me to review, you can send your suggestion to me at askmark at adorama.com. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.